I'm up nice and early this morning because I'm at the Port Dock station. I'm set to go to Agroville. Now the only problem is that I've been here for the last hour and I haven't seen a train yet. Well, not a moving one anyway. I think I'm going to have to go find out what's going on. Excuse me, are you a train driver here? Yes, I am. My name's Richard. Well, Holly's my name. Nice to meet you. How do you do? Oh, I've got a complaint to make. What's that? Well, I have been sitting at the station for an hour and I have not seen one train come in or out of the station. Yes. And I'd like to know what's going on. Well, Holly, this is the railway museum. It's the Port Dock Station Railway Museum and all the pieces here are exhibits. They're real trains, but they don't actually go. Oh, great. How am I going to get to Agroville now? I always seem to get in these mix-ups. All right, well, tell me about the museum then. The museum itself represents really the old era, the times before trucks and cars. So it just covers generally the entire history of the South Australian Railways. So what's the most significant train here at the museum? Uh, we have one of the largest steam locomotives manufactured in the UK, coming in at about 220 tonne. That used to operate on the broad gauge between here and Murray Bridge. So what do you think kids get out of a visit to the museum? Well, basically they can see how it was in the past. It's a bit like a trip back in time where people can actually sit in the old carriages, smell the atmosphere, sit in the cabs of the steam locomotives, so they can just experience what it's been like in the past to work with the railways. Well, guys, it looks as if this is my only ride from Adelaide to Agraville. I guess I'm just going to have to give it a try. station that we started out in. Yes, Holly, this is the museum's miniature train. It only goes around the museum site in a circle. So you're telling me we've been doing circles the whole way? Oh, great. I am never going to get to Agroville. Agroville? I don't think there's any place called Agroville. 